this is a big, actually a big episode for John Ventimiglia, and he does a, a, a tremendous job. And, and I think he only did know, four the first season. This was a big one. You know, yeah. Johnny and I go back to acting school from when I was a teenager, but when around 1985, we were in acting class, and that we were in a class with this guy from Austria who was like a duke or a count from Austria, and he, was, he came to America to study with our teacher, Elaine Aiken, who was like an actor studio guru. And he rented an apartment on 11th Street between B and C, which was a very bad neighborhood in the early 80s, very dangerous. And he loved it. He loved this experience of being this Duke who's now like, you know, living on the you know, Lower East Side. He had money? So, yeah, his, fa his, fa his uncle was the Archbishop of Vienna or something. Yeah, he came from a lot of money, but he wanted yeah. this rock and roll, punk rock experience. So he had to go to Austria for a few months. And he offered the apartment, Johnny and I, to sublet the apartment for very cheap. So Johnny and I move into the apartment. And it oh, was, boy. you know, we just... Oh, I know. I was working as a cook, actually, in, in Tribeca, in the Exterminator Chile. So one night, we throw this party. And we invite everybody we know. And it's just insane. I mean, I mean it goes all night long. There's music. The neighborhood's wild. The party's just as wild. And around six in the morning, there's people crashed on the floor, pe throw up in the, the tub was in the kitchen, you know, one of those walk uh, railroad tenement apartments. Sounds fantastic. Six in the morning, the Duke shows up two months early because he had oh. like a, he kind of had a meltdown, a nervous breakdown and, and needed to get, get out of Austria and come back. Knocks on the door. I wake up. This, I swear there's people on the floor. It's past, the place is trashed. I open the door and he just stands there and goes, I should laugh, really. <laughs> and it's kind of excited, but kind of horrified because he just wants to come home and chill out. That and is hilarious. Was, of all days, of all mornings. Of all days, he shows up. And right before, while he's at the door, the neighbor across, I, this is all true, the neighbor across the hall opens the door and is ODing on speed. <laughs> foaming at the mouth before he even got to our apartment he had to call 911 for the neighbor who was naked and ODing on speed and is asking him for help this all happened at the same time 